sort of down. Mm. Maybe it should go a little more down and a little faster. So let's put this thing here. Alright, now when you're done with this, you have to um, add one more keyframe and put the hand back to where it was on the mag. So somewhere here. And now when you're done with that, just add one more keyframe. Sorry. Yeah, add one, more, add one more keyframe and move the hand to its default position on the handle. Somewhere there. So, like so. And don't forget to rotate it if you want to. So let's see what happens. Takes the Mac out, puts it back in, and goes back. We don't see the Mac taking out yet. yet. We're going to make a separate animation for it. He goes to the Mac, takes it out, puts it back in, and should probably have a more keyframe here. Or at least make this one. Uh, yeah, I'll more keyframe here. And this one is going to be like this. Take outside so then the gun the hand doesn't go through a gun. Takes the hand and then it goes back. Let's just see if it's correct. Mm -hmm. I have one more keyframe somewhere. Actually, I'm going to move this one away. We have one more keyframe here. This one is going to be beat back. So then the, gun, the hand doesn't go through the gun again. So this is what it does. So it goes back and then puts his hand on the handle without going through the walls or anything. So yeah, now this is done. Click record stop, and now your animation should be in your folder somewhere. Mine's here in my folder. Now I have to make the last animation, and this one is for the mag. Um, find your mag. I don't know where it is. Um, ooh. This is probably going to be a problem for me because my mesh is set with the, it's kind of set with the whole gun, so it's going to be hard to figure out how to make it. And the other hand, hmm. Yeah. Let's see what I can do. I think I'm just going to do this. I'm going to make only two animations since I cannot do the separate animation for the Mac because it's stuck with the whole gun mesh. So I cannot do anything about it. But what I can do is. I can make this animation when he does that. I can make it go to the um, right in the middle of the camera, so then you won't be able to see the mag. So, like so, when he is at this position, I'm just going to move this like so, so then you don't see the mag. So he does that. Now do the same for this keyframe. Like so. And for this one. But remember you don't have to do this since this is only for my animation. 
So you have, you can do it, the animation for your mag. So let's see. It's that. Then it goes back. Okay, yes, that's good. Um, now I'm going to attach them to the script. I have, um, I'm using uh, Naruto is great, 1, 2, 3, 4 scripts, but I'm kind of edited them a bit, so I'm just going to attach them, them real quickly. So, so, what you have to do in the script, you have to make two new variables. Var And then call them. Uh, and call them the way that your animations are called. So mine's are called one var r under stash hand under stash reload animation. And the second animation is var. And it's, a, it's called hands reload. Now, um, copy them, select, control C, scroll down to the reload function, and when it says reload, click, do this, control V, then put dot, and dot um, animation, and uh, let me just double check one more time, what is it? Okay. No animation, just put anima um, r hand dot reload dot play, then open bracket and write and control V one more time. Now close this, just double check if everything right. Oh, we have to put P with capital. So play with P with capital. Now do the same here one more time. For your second animation and my hand below the play. And hand reload. Close this and save this to your script. And uh, now we're going to have two more variables here. And what you have to do now is just drag your objects with animations to them. Wait to load. Yeah, there. And now find your animations and apply them just like this. And the second one. Now we run our game. And we shoot. And we just waste the whole ammo very quickly. Hmm. It's a bit loud. Okay, look what happens now. Now we have animation, but you can still see the hand, so we'll have to fix that. So let's we we'll have to fix that right and right arm animation. So Now we have to find a point where it goes down, so here, and make it go behind like this. Now that's what it does. Okay, let's see what happens. It's better. Kind of better, but you can still see the thing. Well, now this thing is clear. Stuff. Okay. Hmm. How can we fix this? Hmm. This thing goes here.
Maybe we can like move it in front so you don't see behind the arm there. Let's try that. Let's try like this. Okay, that's better. Now you don't see it. Just try one more Yes, now it's good. Okay, so now this is how you make the animations for your gun. I'm probably going to be showing you how to make different animations for different guns because this is a, probably not the best example. This one is. This is this gun's mash is set all to one point, so I don't really like that. I'm gonna make uh, another tutorial on different guns this time. Okay, thank you for watching, and have a good day.